Last week we had to drop off a package to UPS and we had to go to Dundee to do that. It was about a seven minute train ride from Brody Ferry to Dundee. And while I was there, I looked for a liquor store that I could buy some whiskey. There's not too many options here in the small seaside town of Brody Ferry. So I walked into the shop that I could find, which was Aitken's, and they had a few whiskey bottles on selection, mostly wine and other liquors, but there was a decent enough whiskey uh, showcase. And this bottle struck me right away. Why? Because if you look at the bottom here, you'll see the magic words of uh, unchill filtered and natural coloring, which always makes me excited. And uh, I've had a bit of this, but let's try some of it on camera, shall we? Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskers. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I appreciate you stopping by, watching my channel. Comments are great, so I appreciate all those that people have been throwing at me. I love to answer those. Anything you want to say about this video or anything that I am not explaining that you'd like to hear me explain, please let me know in the comments. Today, I have a bottle of Reserva Antica from Glen Cadden. Now, this is a non-age statement whiskey. It's 46% ABV and it is unchill filtered, no color added. That is really great to see right on the bottle down there. Just don't see that enough. And even when it's the truth, it's not always printed on the bottle. I love that. I love that it was on the packaging that I could actually see when it was on the shelf. And it made my decision to get this really easy because I have not heard of this particular expression from Glen Cadham. And then I asked the shopkeeper, said, why haven't I heard of this? And why haven't I seen this in the US? He said, basically the distribution is pretty small for Glen Cadham. And it's actually a distillery that's really close to Dundee, which is, it's like a 40 minute car ride from here. So I love that I am able to find a local expression and something that I have not seen before. Let me go ahead and give it a pour and we'll talk about it. I paid 40 pounds for this, which is about 50 US dollars. It's 70 centiliters and it's an all also sherry finished whiskey. The casks it's aged in are bourbon casks and sherry casks from their warehouse. And then they take, I guess, new Oloroso sherry casks. They weren't explicit about that. And then they do a finishing process on to give it more blending and more subtle notes of sherry. I have had a bit of this. As you can see, the bottle is not full, but <laughs> I'm in Scotland. I want to enjoy some whiskey. So I've been cracking into this before I could actually do a review. I have another bottle of whiskey that was sent to me recently that I'm also going to review uh, this week and try to get out for next week. It's a bottle of Indian whiskey, and I'm really excited to tell you about that. But for today, let's stick with the Glen Caddam and go ahead and start nosing this whiskey. Beautiful citrus notes, fresh apple for me, and a little bit of vanilla. Lovely, gentle, malty flavors. Oh, I love those. It, it just, it hits me just right. It feels like a beautiful Highland Scotch whiskey. Let's go ahead and for the taste. The first taste has very little spice. There's a little bit of burn. There's a nice long finish and it is a sweet, soft finish. It's nothing harsh. There's no sour notes. I really enjoy it. Those first notes are rich with toffee and a little bit of the, um, not raisin notes, although there might be a little bit there, but I'm getting more of uh, plum notes and a little bit of pear maybe. Not so much the apple that I got on the nose. Yeah, I'm still getting red apple on the nose, but I'm not getting so much of that on the taste. It's got a little bit of spiciness in there, a little bit of brown sugar, and is a very gentle, very lovely, really thrilled at the flavor profile that they put into this. Now this whiskey is not a sherry bomb. In fact, some of their notes are pretty modest as far as sherry notes. Uh, they say their nose is uh, soft fruits, soft nougat, oaky vanilla with a background of freshly made fudge. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, there might be a little fudge in there. Let's see, their palate is smooth and creamy with sultanes, orchid, orchard fruits, and toffee apple sweetness. I wasn't getting the apple sweetness on the taste. I'm getting a little caramel, 
and I'm getting some sweetness, but I think it's more pear for me. Yeah, and they're finished, long lasting, silky smooth with honey, muscovado sugar, and green tea lingering on the tongue. Green tea, interesting, that's, a, that's an interesting note. I wouldn't have brought that up, but I would agree with that. Yeah, there's some, there's some tea notes on the end. Uh, honey's a good uh, explanation of the sweetness on the finish. I'm thrilled with this. I am so glad I was able to come across it. Again, if you like sherry whiskeys, but you're not looking for a sherry bomb, I think this is a wonderful one. I think Glen Caddam knocked it out of the park with this one, and I hope you get a chance to try it. I haven't found it in any of the U.S. stores yet, but if you're in a U.K. store, you might be able to find it, especially if you're around the Dundee area. So I'm very happy I'm here. I'm very happy I got this bottle, and I'm happy you tuned in to watch this. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of those people around you, and cheers. Cheers.